Hi guys, it's Zoe here. Firstly, let me say I hope you're all doing really well and you are staying safe and you're looking after your loved ones. I just wanted to jump on for a couple of minutes just to give you my six top tips of how to get through this time of having to live and stay at home. Okay, so the first one is um, keep in touch with your friends and family via video or um, video phone or messaging. The great thing about the internet is that we can stay connected. So although we can't see each other or maybe spend time with our friends, we can certainly stay connected via the internet. So take advantage of that at this point um, and make sure that you're staying connected with your friends and family. You're checking in to see how they are. Okay, number two, be careful what you choose to read, okay? So for me, I've had to limit some of the news that I've been reading recently around the coronavirus because it might make me feel a bit more anxious. So I'm limiting what I need to read. Yes, it's important that we find out what's going on in the world, but what I'm not doing is every hour scrolling through the news feed, trying to, you know, what's going on, um, trying to figure out what's going on because actually it's starting to become unhelpful for me. So I might check in a couple of points in the day to find out what's going on in the world, but I'm limiting my time that I spend at reading um, the news at this point. Number three, try and maintain some exercise, okay? It's hard for some of us as this might be. It's actually really important in a time like this, okay? We're not getting out and about as we normally would and doing our steps that we probably should be doing to keep healthy. Um, so doing some exercise at home actually is really important. If you've got a garden, that's great. You can get out in the garden, get some fresh air, do some exercise. If you can go for a walk, then that's also really good. Um, but if you can't get out at all, then there are some great exercise um, YouTube videos that you can do. Um, and we really recommend the PE with Joe, which is a really good one to kind of get your heart rate up and making sure that you're staying fit and healthy during this time, okay? Number four, structure your day, okay? Not having a plan in your day, sometimes it can lead to boredom. And if you're anything like me, this whole time has kind of disrupted um, my routine. And sometimes that's really annoying and we can find it quite difficult to adjust to that. But having a structure and having a plan is a really good idea. Um, and I found this, which I thought might be helpful. I wanted to share with you guys. Okay, it's basically a simple plan for the day that I've printed off from the internet. I got it from makinglemonadeblog.com. Okay, and all it is is a plan for the day with the times down the side that you can write in next to it what you're going to do. So maybe the night before, sit down and have a think, what is it that I'm going to do tomorrow? Instead of just sitting, spending time scrolling on your phone. Okay, there's other things that maybe we can do. If you want some help, why don't you find someone at home to help you do that and to fill that in? And I've got some ideas for us in a minute about what we can put into some of these spaces. Okay, number five. This one is all about being kind and being patient to one another with one another in this time. So we're all living under the same roof as maybe a large number of people if we've got a big family or if we're living with maybe a smaller family. Um, but we're kind of going to be in each other's spaces all the time, maybe a lot more than we usually would. And that's going to naturally need, lead to kind of some annoyances, some frustration, some anger and some upset. But during this time, let me just encourage you um, just to recognise that it is a difficult time for everybody, that we're all maybe feeling a little, more, a little bit more anxious than we normally would. And take some time just to breathe, take some deep breaths, and acknowledge your feelings, maybe even say, guys, I'm starting to get really annoyed, okay? But then maybe take yourself out of the situation. So if you can, if you've got a spare room or somewhere quieter in the house, then maybe go and take some time, maybe shut the door, just have five or 10 minutes, do something that kind of you enjoy to kind of maybe just to take a few breaths and to chill out, okay? So just remember we're all going through a difficult time and being kind and being patient with one another probably at this point is a really good idea. Okay, my last one, number six, top tip, okay? Why don't you try and take up a new hobby? Okay, so 
it's new times for us all so we might try and spend some of our time some of our maybe more free time doing some things that we've maybe never tried before so we could do some sewing or some scrapbooking that's something i really enjoy to do uh, we could maybe do some drawing or some origami um, or we could do some gardening if you've got a garden maybe you could try and do some gardening pull up some of those weeds uh, ready for spring summer and um, you could also uh, write a song that's something I like to do as well write songs um, or keep a journal and maybe write some of your thoughts and feelings down and um, that maybe you can read back after um, kind of this time has moved on and you can read back and see how you felt through it all and um, if you've got a pet you can teach your pet some new tricks and the final one which I think is a really good idea is maybe take up some DIY projects some do-it-yourself projects and um, and if you look around your house and you think anything needs doing or maybe even decorating then maybe now is a good time to be doing that so guys they are my top tips for um how to survive living at home um, over these definitely anyway next few weeks. Um, but I just wanted to say I hope you're all staying really safe, that you're looking after one another and we will see you guys really soon.